Hi, I'm Grant with Angling Authority. I'm here with Mike, Mike Sawaski, Pro Staff for Okuma. We're going to talk about the Okuma reels, specifically the bait casting reels. Uh, you know, Mike, I've been curious about the Okuma reels for a long time. And is the Helios the top end reel? Yes. So it goes Helios, Helios, Komodo. The Helios and Komodo are about the same level. Okay. Uh, the Helios is just a little bit lighter than the Komodo. Okay. But they're about the same level. Okay. Uh, what's the next one in line here? The Sereno, again, is a top of the line reel. Um, it's been out for a few more years. Uh, the Helios was redesigned this year for okay. 2013. Cool. So it's on the same body as the Komodo. Okay. And then we have the Citrix uh, as one step down from from these as well. Okay. Uh, so for the Helios, what have they done uh, to redesign it? Well, to redesign it, they just made it on the same okay. platform as the Komodo. Okay. Uh, so they can put it into a left hand uh, retrieve as well. Okay. Um, it is a high speed reel at 6.2 to 1 uh, ratio. So basically, every time you turn the crank uh, one, you're going to reel in 31.5 inches of uh, line. Okay. What about the, the frame? It's an aluminum frame with a uh, graphite side plate to save weight. One thing I noticed is, is uh, you had uh, this reel open. How do you take off the side plate? Because I like taking off the side plates. And so I to take off the side plate is actually quite easy. Just hold the reel solid and twist the side plate down towards the ground. Okay. And it pops off okay. nice and easy. Cool. Once we take that off, the spool will actually just come out. And that's how we adjust our uh, braking system. Okay, awesome. It's quite simple because it's a zero to six. Uh, instead of having weights pushing in and out, just zero to six. Zero is going to be the freest. Six is going to be um, have the most resistance to slow down that spool. So once you play around with it, if you're throwing a, a jig and want it very free, you know, it's a zero. If you're throwing a crankbait and want it on a three or four, it's easy to remember that. So you can always get back to, the, to your starting point. Uh, if you do decide to play around with it. Cool. So put it back together, you just slide the reel back in, or the spool back in, it just clips up. Cool. Extremely simple, fast, easy to do. And uh, what's the weight difference between the Helios and the Komodo? Of course, you're gonna ask me that. Uh, it's about 0 0.2 ounces, I believe. Okay. It's not a ton different, it's just a little bit lighter. And uh, the drag system is the same as? Carbonite drag system. Carbonite drag, okay. Extremely smooth, uh, disperses the heat uh, extremely well. So at the end of the day, it's going to perform the same as it did at the beginning of the day. Okay. And I see you've got it uh, matched up to a Helios rod as well. Yes. Now, do these rods come in all applications? Are they? Yes. Yeah. Okay. And this one here is a six. It's a seven foot medium. Seven, seven foot medium. Okay. Perfect. And a combo like this. C40 carbon okay. blank uh, micro guide. So this is the new Fuji micro guide system. Okay. You'll notice they are quite small. What that does is it reduces the line slap on the blank which is going to reduce energy. If you reduce the energy, you're going to have a shorter cast. So what this does is reduces that line slap. You're going to get about a 15 to 20% further cast out of this rod versus a traditional uh, guide rod. So Cool. And um, what would this combo be retail for someone that was interested in purchasing this? Yeah, it's going to retail probably around $375 to $400. Okay. And so the reel would be how much? Uh, $220, okay. and then right now until June 15th, there's a $30 rebate on that. And oh, okay. The rod's about $170. $170. And the next uh, reel in the lineup is the Komodo, and yes. how much would that retail for? Uh, I believe they're about $199. $199? Okay. Awesome. Uh, I noticed you have the Helio spinning out. Yes. Uh, was this redesigned as well for... Yes, this is a new reel. Okay. It wasn't redesigned, it's just a new reel oh, this awesome. year. Okay. Uh, what they've done is they've taken the C40 carbon uh, and put that into the body, uh, which makes it 25% lighter and 50% stronger than a graphite frame. Um, in, in the sunlight, it looks amazing. Um, it's nine ball bearings. Inside here, you can't see the gears, but uh, the gears are hardened aluminum, which are stronger 
lighter and more corrosion resistant than brass gears. Uh, the drag system, it's a carbonite drag system again, so it's going to disperse the heat um, a lot better than like a Japanese oil felt drag. It's smoother. And the other thing is they've got a hydro block o-ring up top here. It helps keep the water out and the debris out of the drag system. Okay. So it's going to perform flawless all day. Cool. And, and again, it's 6.8 ounces, so it's extremely, extremely light. Carbon in the handle. I don't know if you guys can see that at home, but it's great. Cool. And uh, the retail for that uh, spinning reel is? Got that on for $149 okay. and a $30 rebate again. So. Cool. At one hundred and twenty dollars, it's a. Does that come in different sizes? I, it, yes, it does. So I like only a, have the twenty fives at the show right now because we haven't received them. They're that new. Okay, cool. Um, but you can get them in a thirty, a thirty-five, and a forty. Thirty, thirty-five, and four. Forty. Yeah. Oh, so okay. So and there's a lot, can, lot of options. A lot of options. Um, this is the regular speed. You can also get it in the high speed reel. Oh, cool. So there's options for whatever application you want to use. The Helios is going to go through. Oh, so you could take it. You could you could get like a, a forty for pike fishing, yes. big game, or you could even go down. Uh, does it come in a, in a thou, like a thousand? Twenty five is the twenty five is the smallest. Yeah. So you could do uh, smallmouth with that. Yes, smallmouth, walleye, pickerel. Very nice. You want to call. Very nice. Cool. Well, thank you. Thank um, you. That's that.